What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome back after a long weekend. Today is Tuesday, January 21st. Let's take a look at what happened in the markets today. First with the S&P, not a whole lot of movement, down slightly. S&P's down about 4.75. NASDAQ pretty flat. Dow down 100. Russell down about 14. So slightly bearish today. Uh, but what are the, some of the other big movers? One thing was Natty Gas down almost 5%, so continuing its slide lower. We do have a position in here. If it continues much lower, we're, we're going to go ahead and roll some calls down to uh, extend duration and continue to collect some credits in Natty Gas. So big movement there. In stocks, another big move in Tesla, up over 7%. We'll jump there in Tesla. So Tesla continues to stay on fire. And it does have earnings coming up uh, at the end of this month. So on the 29th, we do have a position in Tesla, a, a reverse iron duck. So still in good shape on that one. Beyond Meat, another big move today. Where's Beyond? What did it end up at? Up 18%. What a move this thing's been having. I mean, it started down here, did nothing for quite a while, and then boom, shot up, and then had that big pullback just that one day, kind of consolidated a little bit here, and then boom, shot up 18% today. So a lot of movement in Beyond Meat. We did not put on any trades today. If this thing keeps climbing, we will look to potentially put on a reverse iron duck. The calls continue to have some skew in there. So potentially a trade coming in Beyond Meat. Another big mover today that we did have a trade on in was BA, Boeing. So we put this on last Friday. So it was right here when price was hanging out right here near the open. We put on a pre-earnings long straddle. And the reason we did that is price had been really consolidating in a pretty tight range. And then we got this contraction in implied volatility. So, you know, typically what we see is implied volatility expands going into earnings. And so with this consolidation in price and then that contraction implied volatility, that's where we put on a long straddle right there leading up to earnings. Now, we never hold these past the earnings date, just leading up to it and worked out really well. So the very first day we had it on, we were in the profit after that big bar down. And then today, price dropped on news that the MAX is going to be delayed in getting back out to the airline carriers. And before that news came out and price was dropping, they actually halted trading in Boeing for a period of time. Then they opened it back up. We closed out our trade, booked uh, almost 700 bucks per contract. So nice trade there in Boeing. Netflix has earnings. They announced after the bell today. So just not too long ago here. Let's go to Netflix. Let's go to an intraday chart, see what happened. So here's what happened after hours, which starts in that shaded gray. See, there's a little spike up and down, and really it's pretty close to where it uh, closed. So pretty muted movement in Netflix, which is good. We put on a trade in Netflix, so we should see a nice little winner in that one. And then another one that announced after the bell was IBM. Now, IBM... I think had a big move higher. Yeah, pretty decent move higher. So closed about 139-ish, and it's now at about 145. The uh, What was the expected move there? Expected move was about six, and price is up about six. Imagine that. So we didn't put on a an alert in this one. I did a an iron duck in a different account, so that'll be a little beak winner, but that's what happened in IBM. Capital One Financial also announced after the bell, and it's up a couple bucks. The other main one that's announcing tomorrow morning before the market opens is Johnson & Johnson. And so let's take a look at a just a regular daily chart. You see here it is. We didn't put on a trade here. Implied volatility pretty low, although it did spike up a little bit today. But no trade here, but they do announce before the bell tomorrow morning. So that's all we got. Everybody have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.